Hi, Sia, can I help you? I feel really painful at this side and this side. Okay, since when are you having this kind of pain, sir? Just now, after lunch. After lunch, just a moment, I get the next for you, okay? Okay. According to your report, you have appendicitis. So, you need to have your appendix removed. I will refer you to our general surgeon to have the surgery done. Oh, uh, doctor, but I heard that there are such things uh, for laparoscopy for the appendix surgery. And can I know more about what is laparoscopy? Yeah, uh, I, will, I will refer you to the doctor and you can talk to our general surgeon to know more about laparoscopic surgery. Okay, thank you, doctor. Laparoscopic surgery actually is a minimally invasive surgery. means uh, we do a surgery for the abdomen by, make, by making very small incisions in the abdomen, small cuts. Like, okay? So uh, we can use it to do surgery basically for things like appendicitis, inflammation of the appendix, yeah, diseases of the gallbladder. We can do it for hernia surgery, hernia like uh, for example groin surgery, groin hernias. You can also do it for like bowel surgery, like cancer of the colon. Okay. Uh, of course now they have other surgery, more uh, advanced one like even doing for some kidney procedures, something called adrenal in the abdomen. So even do it for stomach. Uh, for pancreas, so many surgeries, but as long as it's involving abdomen, uh, it can be done. Uh, of course, not everything can be done through laparoscopic surgery. Sometimes uh, we can plan to do laparoscopic surgery, but on table we find that there may be something more difficult to be done through laparoscopic surgery. So we, we have to warn patient beforehand that we may have to do open procedure, like the traction open procedure. So um, basically, laparoscopic surgery, um, we use uh, small uh, incisions in the abdomen. We put channels in there through the abdomen wall, can, uh, the abdomen wall. We inflate with the gas called carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is a inert gas, so it doesn't encourage any fire. In it. So it's quite safe. Okay, after we inflate the abdomen, we put the camera in. The camera actually is uh, carrying light source uh, from a machine, and uh, it goes through a cable, fiber cable, which is flexible. It goes in the abdomen cavity, it, it shines the abdomen cavity, and then it uh, retrieves the pictures from inside, uh, the images from inside and it be transmitted back to the machine. So basically the doctor will look at the screen and do the procedure. The, the pain is less. Okay? It makes smaller cuts, there's less trauma to the patient. Um, then because of the wound is smaller, the scar is less. So sometimes the scar is not so obvious to heat it. Somebody can find the scar after a few years. Um, because of the small incision, less trauma, then the recovery period is shorter. So instead, for example, a patient who goes for uh, and the traditional method, by making an incision here, they will take about two weeks to get better. Through this laparoscopic surgery, it may take half the time. In fact, for laparoscopic surgery, the risk is less because the wound is smaller. Okay. Uh, then, uh, because uh, when we do the traditional method of doing open surgery, sometimes we can put the hands in there, and bring some dust from the glove, dust from outside. The bowel gets may stick together. Something called adhesions. Okay, uh, so with laparoscopic surgery, because the hands are outside, uh, we need to put uh, sterile instruments through the small uh, incisions, right? The risk of having this is less. Usually after the surgery, we'll be, uh, the wounds are very small, but we put a dressing on the wound. It's a waterproof dressing. So uh, the patient doesn't have to do much. They just shower as normal, uh, just take painkillers and give uh, The recovery is very fast. Uh, then uh, we are usually ask them to come back about three days later to check on the wounds, make sure there's no infection. And another time we come back to see the report for the for the for the organ that we removed. We simply send to the lab to get the report, report yeah.